this classic song is about the inevitability of death and it sounds not very cheery but I think there's something really beautiful in that. I wasn't expecting that. Of course, I've heard this song before, You know, I love the harmonies in this. They're really full and really bright, but you have him kind of telling the story. You know, he was really thinking about what would happen if he died early, how he would deal with that. And I think that's a beautiful thought in a weird way in that it means that if you think about if I died in a year, how would I live my life? It means you truly live. And it's the way that I try to live by thinking that I might die. Um. I love those backing vocals. I love the call and response, but it isn't so much of a dialogue between him and other people. It feels like they're kind of set back in this way that they're very ethereal. So it's like his dialogue between him and an outerworldly entity. And I love that about this. So catchy, that guitar riff. I love it. And this to me, this la 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 is just like kind of the skipping through life. La 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 la. That's the enjoyment of life to me in this moment. What's really interesting about his voice, classic. Like every great singer, they do something that's a little bit different than what is taught in the singing world and he's got a little bit of nasality which makes his voice really really distinct and cut through the mix let's go back to 1 minute 51 yeah na, 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 na. so what's happening is his soft palate is actually coming down your soft palate is like a, a portal to the back of your nose and the air can kind of come out and through your nose. You kind of have to experiment. For a lot of people, it can make your voice also very wobbly, unstable, and can cause a lot of problems in being able to control your voice. And we don't want that. But for some people, it really works. And if you like that sound, then go for it. And it works with this very, very intense backing because that sound cuts through. <laughs> It's such a clear, smooth tone.
So there's a uh, idea that many people think that this song is about suicide and I think because of the Romeo and Juliet thing. To me it really doesn't feel like that and he says it isn't about that either. It really feels like a celebration of life because it has that brightness, although the lyrics are kind of creepy. There's the brightness, of course, we're gonna, we've got the classic cowbell in there that makes it feel very lively. You know, that glorious, mysterious guitar solo is like the mystery of life to me. And there's such a contrast between that guitar and the kind of darker sounds within it, which makes it feel, to me, very hopeful. <laughs> Those babies are interesting because he's he's got very good vocal technique. His voice is very, very smooth. Apart from the interesting thing that we talked about, but baby is a diphthong. It's almost two vowels, baby. But he's making it baby. And that is much easier to sing. So sometimes we can morph those vowels into something a little bit different. And we don't even think about it when we're listening as an audience, but it isn't actually how we would say it. And it makes it way, way easier. There's loads and loads of examples of this in singing. And um, this is one of them. He is also a man that has really looked after his voice. He doesn't drink, he doesn't do drugs, he doesn't smoke. He tries to avoid dairy products, uh, spicy foods before singing. He does his warm ups. These are all things that are helpful. He looks after his body, so he looks after his voice, and I like that. And drinks enough water, really important. I always forget. I love his shiny top as well. Before we get into this next section, the reason I feel quite emotional is that I feel like it's one of the most purest honorings of gratefulness <laughs> to being alive. I'm being so hippie-ish right now, but it just, it makes me feel very grateful to be able to live and enjoy things like this. And I hope you feel as grateful as me. <laughs> and be like, wow, skill.
was so involved that I didn't even talk about the cowbell. The cowbell is a very famous part in this. It was parodied on Saturday Night Live with Will Ferrell. We don't have a whole lot of songs that feature the cowbell. I gotta have more cowbell. It's an unusual instrument to have in a song like this, but it adds that brightness. That, to me, is that hope. But it's a very natural sound. Nope, it's related to cows. So it makes us feel, like, lifted and hopeful. And I love it. Before we go, I have just released my very own album. It's available on my website. Three of the songs are available here on YouTube and on Spotify, and I would love if you could go and check them out. But for now, I will see you in the next one. Bye.